The following video demonstrates how the SpiroTrap MB2 effectively separates non-magnetic and magnetic dirt, otherwise known as magnetite, as it circulates around the system. The video also highlights how the draining stage of the SpiroTrap MB2 can be visually unclear with regards to the amount of dirt removed. First, the video focuses on the SpiroTrap MB2's effectiveness at separating magnetic debris. The demo rig used consists of a 10-litre water tank and a small circuit operated by a standard heating pump. In the circuit, a transparent SpiroTrap MB2 is mounted, which is an exact copy of the standard brass unit. Flow speed has been fixed at 0.9 cubic metres per hour, which is representative of domestic heating systems. During the test, small amounts of magnetite will be inserted into the storage tank and circulated around the system. The magnetite used is laboratory-grade material, with particles ranging from below 5 microns up to 200 microns in size. This is seen as representative of the type of magnetic debris commonly found circulating around a system. In phase 1, 5 grams of magnetite is added into the circuit. As the magnetite reaches the spiro tube contained within the SpiroTrap MB2, a laminar no-flow zone is created. The laminar no-flow zone provides enough opportunity for gravity to take effect and initiates the separation of the magnetic dirt as it falls towards the bottom of the dirt chamber. The magnet below then boosts the separation and firmly holds the magnetic debris in place at the bottom of the dirt chamber. In phase 2, an additional 10 grams of magnetite is added to the circuit. Again, it is possible to see the magnetite falling towards the bottom of the dirt chamber as it is separated by the spiro tube and boosted by the magnet below. In phase 3, another 10 grams of magnetite is added to the circuit. The separation can now be seen on a full-length video of the unit to the left as well as a zoomed-in section to the right. Notice how the separated magnetite continues to increase at the bottom of the dirt chamber. In phase 4, an additional 100 grams of magnetite is added. Since such a huge amount of magnetite will never run through a domestic system in one batch, the adding of the magnetite has been spread over several minutes. The separation of the magnetite continues as in phases 1 to 3, but at a much larger scale. After just a few minutes of separation, the SpiroTrap MB2 effectively removes the vast majority of magnetite flowing through the circuit. The amount of magnetite that has been separated can be seen collected at the bottom of the dirt chamber. As you can see, the SpiroTrap MB2 is capable of separating large amounts of dirt. In fact, this process could be repeated until the unit reaches capacity, as even when the SpiroTrap MB2 is full, the system flow would remain unaffected. The next stage of the video focuses on the SpiroTrap MB2's effectiveness at separating non-magnetic debris. Non-magnetic debris consists of lime, hematite, plumbing debris such as tin, copper filings, and building debris, are added to the circuit. The demo rig and flow settings are unchanged at 0.9 cubic meters per second. In phase 1, 5 grams of debris is added to the circuit. The laminar no-flow zone caused by the spiro tube separates the non-magnetic debris in the same way as it did the magnetite. This separated non-magnetic debris can be clearly seen falling towards the bottom of the dirt chamber. In phase 2, an additional 10 grams of debris is added to the circuit and is continued to be separated. In phase 3, another 10 grams of debris is added to the circuit. The separation that is taking place is now becoming more evident, with a large amount of debris collecting at the bottom of the dirt chamber.
In phase four, 100 grams of non-magnetic debris is added to the circuit. Despite the large amount of debris that has been added, the SpiroTrap MB2 continues to effectively separate the vast majority of non-magnetic debris. This effective separation can be clearly seen in the collected debris at the bottom of the dirt chamber. The next stage of the video highlights how the draining stage of the SpiroTrap MB2 can be visually unclear with regards to the amount of dirt removed. In the following setup, a transparent SpiroTrap MB2 is filled with over 100 grams of magnetite and is drained under one bar of pressure, which is the minimum expected within a sealed heating system. The SpiroTrap MB2 is drained by a simple turn of the release valve. You will notice that the dirt chamber is emptied within seconds, with the water running clear in under three seconds. Let's watch again, this time in slow motion. This explains how the drainage stage can be unclear with regards to the amount of dirt removal achieved by the SpiroTrap MB2. You'll also notice that whilst the magnet is self-cleaning, there is still a small amount of debris remaining on the magnet after draining. This is completely normal and in no way affects the performance of the SpiroTrap MB2. This is due to the SpiroTrap MB2's dirt chamber being capable of containing the equivalent of several years' worth of magnetite. We trust that this video has clarified some of the questions that have arisen in the past year, and we would like to thank you for your attention and for your continued support in the promotion of the SpiroTrap MB2.